Hello there, welcome to a measurement video on finding the area of a circle. When we're finding the area of a circle we'll be using uh, a formula or two and so when we're, whenever we're using formulas we should look to set out our work nicely with the formula up the top line. Uh, then on the second line we'd look to substitute all the numbers in from the question and then calculate our answer and then we'll have a think about what units to use. When we're finding the area of something, we'll try and use square units, so square centimetres or square metres. When we have a full circle, here's a full circle with a, a R for radius indicated. A radius, you'll remember, goes from the centre of a circle to any point on the edge of a circle. So that's R for radius there. And our area formula for a full circle is equal to pi, I'll talk about pi in a moment, times the radius squared. So pi times whatever the radius is squared will give us the area of a full circle. So if we uh, use r for radius, like in our diagram here, uh, we can have a shortened version of that. a equals pi r squared is the area formula for a full circle. Now pi is a special number we use in circle work. Technically it's the number of times, pi is the number of times that the diameter of any circle if we had a diameter that goes all the way across, uh, the number of times that diameter could go around the edge of the circle, the circumference of the circle, um, it, it, that's the number of times uh, that is uh, indicated by pi. So that w that's very helpful for circles and it's usually found, we usually use the, ba the value of pi from our calculator button. Every now and again the question asks us to shorten it to 3.14 or sometimes even uh, it asks to us to asks us to use a fraction version 22 over 7 but if it doesn't tell you uh, what to use for pi just use the full version in your calculator button. Alright here we go let's use a number here we've got uh, a radius of 6 meters on this particular circle and our area formula for a circle for a full circle with pi r squared so r stands for radius so we're going to put 6 in instead of that radius so straight underneath a equals pi times 6 squared in this case because 6 is our radius so we take whatever our radius is and put it in the formula that calculates out to be 113.1 now let's have a think about our units we're finding the area of a circle so when we find area we work with square units so instead of six meters or uh, meters being our units from the question we'll try and use square units so we'll use 113.1 meters squared and we rounded that off to one decimal place so that's uh, using the radius of six putting it into the formula and uh, using square units now that's when we had a radius given to us. Let's have a look what we might have to do if we are given a diameter. See how now we've got a diameter? It's not just a radius, it goes all the way across the circle. And it's a diameter of 20 centimetres. Now that'll be no good to plug in. We can't plug in 20 or substitute in 20 where the R is because the R stands for radius. So we've got to go from a diameter of 20 and we're going to try and find how far that radius is. Now I think you can see it looks about half there and you're right actually. If we have a diameter of 20 centimeters we will divide by 2 to get a radius of 10 centimeters. Now why would we want a radius? Well that's because the formula uh, for the area of a full circle has an R in it uh, and so we need a radius for that. We can't just put the 20 straight in. We need to divide it by 2 to get a radius of 10 and then, then the 10 will be subbed in. So underneath there, instead of pi times 20 squared, we'll put times, uh, pi times 10 squared to get our answer. We have to be careful. The area of, form area of a circle formula is using radius. So 314.2 is our number answer. In our question, we had units of centimeters, and we want to use square units for area. So we'll have centimeters squared instead. Okay, so that's for a full circle. Whether we had a radius or a diameter, we were able to calculate the area of a full circle. When we don't have a full circle, we'll be adjusting that uh, formula to suit the purposes. This one here, the next one, is a half a circle. It's called a semicircle, special name for a half a circle. 
Um, and once again, we have a diameter across here. We've got the length right across that uh, half circle. So we haven't got a radius. It'd be good if we had a radius. But uh, that's the radius there I've drawn in green there. But if we've got a diameter of 16, I think you can see that we'd have uh, a radius that's half that. So we'll make that adjustment a bit like in that previous example because we want to put in a radius into the uh, formula. And notice I've changed the formula here. We've only got a half a circle. So instead of pi r squared, we have a half of pi r squared. Makes a fair amount of sense. That pi r squared bit here, that's for a full circle, and we've only got a half a circle, so that's, uh, that explains why there's a big half out the front multiplying by that. Alrighty, so if we had a diameter of 16, I think you can spot that we will halve it and make a radius of 8, and it's that 8 that is going to go into the, our adjusted uh, formula for the area of a semicircle. So instead of half pi r squared uh, using 16, we'll use the 8 in there and square that. And be careful on your calculator there. We get 100.5 units there. Now it'll have to be square units. In the question we look to see that we've got meters. So if we're finding we're using square units, we'll have meters squared instead and that answer was rounded off to one decimal place. So a bit happening there, we went from a diameter of 16, we halved it so we could get a radius of 8, and it was the 8 that was substituted into our adjusted formula. Because we don't have a full circle, we have a half a circle. That's why the half's out the front. So a fair bit going on there. Now, if we have, uh, what fraction of a circle do you think we have here? Well, there's a 90 degree symbol there. And so we could fit four of those in a full circle. Let me show you. Oh, this will be a bit wobbly, but still, oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> we could fit four of those into a circle, couldn't we? So I think you can see that that uh, section that we are finding here is a quarter of a full circle. Brilliant drawing, Mr. Blake. But anyway, so uh, that explains why there's a quarter in front of our uh, formula there. Uh, this section here was the formula for a full circle. Now we've got a quarter out the front because we're only finding a quarter of a circle. Okay, so what's our radius, I wonder? For a quarter times pi times the radius, well, that's just going to be 5 millimeters. So we'll put the 5 in there and square it. So we didn't have to do any adjusting there. That's the radius of that quadrant, we call it quad meaning 4. Okay, type that in, 19.6. Now our units, we were using millimeters and once again we're finding an area so we'll have to find uh, the units version that is suitable for this. Millimeters squared, so there we have it. Now there's a, there was another adjustment because we didn't have a full circle, we had a quarter of a circle so there was a fraction of a quarter out the front and we had to make sure it was a radius that went straight in and thankfully we were given a radius in the question. So there's a few adjustments there. Let's recap. When we're finding the area of a full circle our formula is uh, pi r squared and our radius is there with an r. <laughs> when we are finding a half circle we need to find a radius which might only be half of the amount given, we'll see. Depends on the question. But it's half of pi r squared because it's a half of a circle. And the formula for a quadrant, which is a quarter of a circle, is a quarter pi r squared. So we're just adjusting the full formula for the area of a circle, uh, depending on the circumstances. So I hope that helps. Uh, a bit tricky, those circles, but um, look at the formula for circle pi r squared and go from there. If you've got a half of uh, a circle, you'll have a half pi r squared. A quarter of a circle is a quarter of pi r squared for your formula. Anyway, and we're finding a radius each time before we substitute that into the equation. Okay, that's our circles ticked off. Uh, we'll see another video soon, I'm sure. And if you're not sure of anything on about your maths, there's plenty of videos and plenty of help to be had at peterblakemaths.com. Make use of it. Uh, get lots of practice. See you later. Bye-bye.